Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to tell you our problem with running sum or any running calculation, running average, running minimum, maximum or running sum and how it can create a problem. You might end up with the wrong calculation and then I will tell you two ways how to fix it. Okay. So let's start and please subscribe to the channel if you are, you have not and like the videos. So if you remember, we discussed the Misho uh, interview question. I will just tag it here. So there we, we calculated the running cost of a product table, right? So from minimum product value to higher, we wanted a running cost. In that problem, we had four products, P1, P2, P3, P4, and there was no duplicate of the cost. There it was 200, 300, 500, 800. Okay. So we didn't face any issue. But if we have a duplicate, I mean, two products can have same same cost, right? That is possible. So I will now what I will do, I will uh, I will calculate the running sum. So how we will do the running sum? Typically, we will do sum of cost over order by cost, right? I want in ascending order as running cost, right? So if I run this. And we will see what is the output. So if you see, we have 200. Here you see, we have 800, 800. What I was expecting, we will have 500 here because 200 and 300 should be 500 and then 300, 800. But if you see both are 800, why? Because we have a duplicate. So on the column on which you are doing order by, if there is a duplicate, okay. So in that case, both the roads will be considered and you will get the output accordingly. No, but I don't want that. My expectation is 200, 500, 800. So what can I do? So there are two ways of doing it. One way is in the order by clause, we make the order by unique. So we should not have duplicate. So along with cost, I can add product ID as well. Now if you see the product ID is different. So cost is same, right? But if still product ID will be different. So based on that, running cost will be calculated. So if I run this now, we have this 200, 500, 800. And this is what I expected, right? So this is one way of doing it, right? Introduce another column and make this, uh, this unique. It, they should not be duplicate based on these two columns. Now let's suppose in your table, you don't have a column that you can make every row unique, but if still you want a result like this. So there is a second way of doing it. In that, what I can do, I'll just remove this and I will say rows between. So this is rows between clause unbounded preceding. So I'm saying all the rows before current row till current row, right? This is how it works. If I do this, this also will give me the expected output. So if I run this now, here also we have 200, 500, 800, 1300, 2400. I hope this makes sense and very useful. You might end up making mistakes. So take care of it that you don't have duplicates on the column on which you are doing order by. So yeah, I hope this is clear. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.